Harvard Divinity School is one of the constituent schools of Harvard University, located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, United States. As of June 2015, the school's mission is to train and educate its students either in the academic study of religion, or for the practice of a religious ministry or other public service vocation. It also caters to students from other Harvard schools that are interested in the former field. Harvard Divinity School is among a small group of university-based, non-denominational divinity schools in the United States the others include the University of Chicago Divinity School, Yale Divinity School, Vanderbilt University Divinity School, Wake Forest University School of Divinity, and Claremont Graduate University School of Religion. History Harvard College was founded in 1636 as a Puritan, Congregationalist institution and trained ministers for many years. The separate institution of the Divinity School, however, dates from 1816, when it was established as the first non-denominational divinity school in the United States. Princeton Theological Seminary had been founded as a Presbyterian institution in 1812. Andover Theological Seminary was founded in 1807 by Orthodox Calvinists who fled Harvard College after it appointed liberal theologian Henry Ware to the Hollis Professorship of Divinity in 1805. During its first century, Harvard Divinity School was unofficially associated with American Unitarianism. However, it also retains a historical tie to one of the successor denominations of American Congregationalism, the United Church of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Harvard Divinity School and Unitarianism Throughout the 18th century, Enlightenment ideas of the power of reason and free will became widespread among Congregationalist ministers, putting those ministers and their congregations in tension with more traditionalist, Calvinist parties. When the Hollis Professor of Divinity David Tappan died in 1803 and the president of Harvard Joseph Willard died a year later, in 1804, the overseer of the college Jedediah Morse demanded that Orthodox men be elected. Nevertheless, after much struggle, the Unitarian Henry Ware was elected in 1805, which signaled the changing of the tide from the dominance of traditional, Calvinist ideas ideas at Harvard to the dominance of liberal, Arminian ideas defined by traditionalists as Unitarian ideas. The appointment of Ware, with the election of the liberal Samuel Weber to the presidency of Harvard two years later, led Jedediah Morse and other conservatives to found the Andover Theological Seminary as an orthodox alternative to the Harvard Divinity School. Today Today, students and faculty come from a variety of religious backgrounds, Christian all denominations, Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, Sikh, and others. Its academic programs attempt to balance theology and religious studies—that is, the "'believers' perspective on religion with the "'secular' perspective on religion. This is in contrast to many other divinity schools where one or the other is given primacy Yale Divinity School, for example, emphasizes its theological program, while the majority of students at the University of Chicago Divinity School enroll in its "...religious studies", Master of Arts program. <laughs> Degrees Harvard Divinity School is accredited by the Association of Theological Schools in the United States and Canada ATS and approved by ATS to grant the following degrees. In addition to candidates for the above, many Harvard graduate students pursuing PhDs in the study of religion work closely with Divinity School faculty. These students are formally affiliated with the Committee on the Study of Religion which is made up of 50% Arts and Sciences and 50% Divinity faculty members and housed in the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. In April 2014, the faculty of HDS voted to unify the THD and PhD in the study of religion in the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences GSAS, suspending admission to the THD starting in fall 2015. Those previously admitted to the THD program continue to be candidates for the THD, with the first cohort of PhD candidates entering in fall 2015. While many PhD students in the GSAS take courses at HDS, and admissions material from HDS advertises the PhD in the study of religion, PhD students are formally enrolled in the GSAS and not at HDS, only the GSAS at Harvard may award the PhD. Curriculum <coughs> 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 Candidates for the MTS choose among 18 areas of academic focus Candidates for the MDIV are required to take Three courses in the theories, methods, and practices of scriptural interpretation within the student's religious tradition 
Six courses in the history, theology, and practice of the student's religious tradition in which they are preparing to minister. Three courses within a religious tradition different from the one they are studying. Topic: Research and special programs. Topic: Women's studies in religion program. The Women's Studies in Religion program WSRP at Harvard Divinity School was founded in 1973 and was the first program offering interdisciplinary study of women and religion. Since its founding it has supported more than 100 scholars, from over 50 institutions of higher learning in the United States and around the world. The WSRP promotes critical inquiry into the interaction between religion and gender, and every year the program brings five postdoctoral scholars to HDS. The research associates each work on a book-length research project and teach courses related to their research. Topic: <laughs> Center for the Study of World Religions. Founded in 1960 after an anonymous donation in 1957, the Center for the Study of World Religions at Harvard Divinity School is a residential community of academic fellows, graduate students, and visiting professors of many world religious traditions. The center focuses on the understanding of religions globally through its research, publications, funding, and public programs. It welcomes scholars and practitioners, and highlights the intellectual and historical dimensions of religious dialogue. As of July 1, 2017, its current director is Charles Stang, a scholar of ancient Christianity, focusing especially on Eastern varieties of late antique Christianity. The center sponsors a diverse range of educative programs, ranging from public lectures to colloquia and reading groups, student-initiated projects, and religion in the news, lunches on topics of public interest. The center's meditation room is used regularly by individuals and groups. The building that houses the center was designed by Josep Louis Sert. Topic: <laughs> Summer Leadership Institute. The Summer Leadership Institute SLI, which has been discontinued, was a two-week training program that sought to establish theological instruction and grounding for individuals engaged in community and economic development. The program of study was divided into four modules, theology, ethics, and public policy, organizational development and management, housing and community development, and finance and economic development. It was a full-time residential program, holding classes five days a week, with an emphasis on faith-based case studies of corporations and communities. Since the SLI's inauguration in 1998, more than 450 participants have completed the program. About 50 people were selected each year from around the United States and internationally to participate in lectures, seminars, and field visits with faculty from across Harvard and other recognized experts. Participants also developed individual plans of action, on a case study model, applicable to the local work in their communities. Program in Religion and Secondary Education The Program in Religion and Secondary Education is a teacher education program that prepares students to teach about religion in public schools from a non-sectarian perspective. Students in the Master of Theological Studies or Master of Divinity degree programs integrate their work in religion with courses on education and public policy to understand the relationship between religion and education and to advance religious literacy within their fields of licensure. Harvard Divinity School's Program in Religious Studies and Education PRSE has been temporarily suspended, pending new permanent funding that will allow the program to continue and to be capable of serving more students than can currently be admitted into the program. Beginning with the 2009–10 academic year, no new students will be admitted to the program for at least the next two years. Students who are already in the PRSE will continue and be able to finish their degree in normal fashion. Andover Harvard Theological Library Andover Harvard Theological Library was founded in 1836 and underwent expansion in 1911 when the collections of HDS and Andover Theological Seminary were combined. The library is part of the larger Harvard University Library System, which is available to all faculty, staff, and students at HDS. In September 2001, the library completed a $12 million renovation that enhanced its technology facilities and improved its information systems. 
Andover Harvard participates in the Boston Theological Institute Library Program, which extends borrowing privileges to all members of the HDS community at any of the other BTI libraries. From the HDS 2007-08 catalog Books and bound periodicals, 485,046 Over 30,000 rare books including 22 published before 1525 Current serial periodical subscriptions, 2,981 Original papers of Paul Tillich Audiovisual material, 633 titles Historical archives of the Unitarian Universalist Association Library adds 4,000 to 6,000 new volumes to its collection each year. Total circulations in 2006 to 46,703. Andover Hall Completed in 1911 at a cost of $300,000, Andover Hall was designed by Allen & Collins, a firm that focused largely on neo-medieval and ecclesiastical designs, and is the only building at Harvard built in the collegiate Gothic style of architecture. Andover Hall was commissioned by Andover Theological Seminary, which, by 1906, saw its enrollment slide and entered an affiliation with the Divinity School in 1908. The hall contained a chapel, library, dorms, and seminar and lecture rooms. Today, Andover Hall still contains a chapel and some classrooms, but it also holds many administrative and faculty offices. Notable professors James Luther Adams, ethicist and most influential theologian among American Unitarian Universalists in the 20th century Layla Ahmed, professor of women's studies and scholar of Islam Charles Gilchrist Adams, William and Lucille Nickerson Professor of the Practice of Ethics and Ministry 2006 to 2011. Francois Bovin, Professor Emeritus, Prolific Scholar in New Testament and Christian Apocrypha David Carrasco, Scholar of Latin American Religion and Culture Francis Xavier Clooney, Comparative Theologian and Scholar of Hinduism Harvey Cox, Hollis Professor of Divinity Emeritus, Author of The Secular City Diana Elek, scholar of Hinduism and founder of the Pluralism Project. Ephraim Emerton, 1851 to 1935, first recipient of the Wynn Professorship of Ecclesiastical History. Peter J. Gomez, 1942 to 2011, Pusey Minister in the Memorial Church of Harvard University and Plummer Professor of Christian Morals. Janet Gyatso, scholar of Tibetan Buddhism, history and culture. William A. Graham, Dean of the School, 2002 to 2012, Albertson Professor of Middle Eastern Studies, Arts and Sciences, Comparative Historian and Scholar of Islam. Charles Hallisey, Scholar of Theravada Buddhism. David Hempton, Dean, Dean of the School, Historian of Methodism and Evangelical Protestantism. Michael Jackson, Anthropologist, Anthropologist and Novelist. Baber Johansson, Scholar of Islamic Law. Usman Umar Kane, Orwalid Professor of Contemporary Islamic Religion and Society Karen King, Hollis Professor of Divinity, author of What is Gnosticism? and The Gospel of Mary Magdala. Gordon D. Kaufman died 2011, liberal Mennonite pacifist theologian and author of God the Problem Helmut Koester died 2016, Professor Emeritus, New Testament scholar John D. Levinson, scholar of Hebrew Bible and Jewish Studies Arthur Shute McGill, 1926 to 1980, Bussey Professor of Theology at Harvard from 1971 until 1980. Richard R. Niebuhr, Hollis Professor of Divinity Emeritus, theologian. Henry Newman, 1983 to 1985, Professor of Divinity and Horace de Wye, Lentz Lecturer. Jacob K. Olupona, Scholar of Indigenous Religions, Religions in Africa. Elizabeth Schusler Florenza, Krista Stendhal Professor Feminist New Testament Scholar, Author, in memory of her, Rhetoric and Ethic, The Power of the Word Francis Schusler Florenza, Charles Chauncey Stillman Professor of Roman Catholic Theological Studies Robert William Scribner 1941 Reformation historian Wilfred Cantwell Smith, former director of the school's Center for the Study of World Religions Ronald Frank Thiemann, Christian theologian and dean of the Divinity School from 1986 to 1998. Paul Tillich, 1886 to 1965, Protestant theologian and Christian existentialist. Henry Ware Jr., 1794 to 1843, Unitarian theologian. Henry Ware Senior, 1764 to 1845, prominent early Unitarian theologian. C. 
Conrad Wright (1917–2011), historian of American Congregationalism and Unitarianism. George Ernest Wright (1958–1974), Parkman Professor of Divinity (1961–1974), curator of the Semitic Museum, Presbyterian, leading Old Testament scholar and biblical archaeologist. Cornel West, public intellectual, author, philosopher, political activist, social critic and member of the Democratic Socialists of America. Notable alumni Charles G. Adams, pastor, Hartford Memorial Baptist Church, former president, Progressive National Baptist Convention, Inc., William and Lucille Nickerson Professor of the Practice of Ethics and Ministry, Harvard Divinity School. Emma Anderson, Professor of Classics and Religious Studies at University of Ottawa Chris Adrian, author and medical doctor Horatio Alger, scholar and novelist Reza Aslan, author and Islamic scholar Charles Benison, Bishop in the Episcopal Church George Madison Bodge, author, historian, and Unitarian minister George Bradburn, Unitarian preacher and abolitionist from Massachusetts Neville Callum, General Secretary of the Baptist World Alliance Edward John Carnell, prominent neo-evangelical theologian Tom Chappell, founder of Toms of Maine, large producer of natural personal care products Tom Chick, actor, editor and video game journalist Dolman Coates, senior pastor, Mount Ennon Baptist Church, Clinton, M.D. Moncure D. Conway, Unitarian preacher and abolitionist from Virginia Janet Cooper Nelson, chaplain of Brown University, first woman university chaplain in the Ivy League John Cranley, former congressional candidate in Ohio. Demetrios, Archbishop of America, current primate of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America. Gary Dorian, American social ethicist and theologian, Reinhold Niebuhr Professor of Social Ethics at Union Theological Seminary in the city of New York and Professor of Religion at Columbia University. Elizabeth Eaton, fourth presiding bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. William Greenleaf Elliott, co-founder of Washington University in St. Louis. Ralph Waldo Emerson, philosopher, poet, and essayist Archie Epps, Harvard University Dean of Students 1971–1999 Greg Epstein, humanist chaplain at Harvard University, and author of the New York Times bestselling book, Good Without God, What a Billion Nonreligious People Do Believe John Figdor, humanist chaplain at Stanford University Robert P. George, author, constitutional law scholar, and Princeton professor Ronald Goetz, Niebuhr Distinguished Chair in Christian Theology and Ethics at Elmhurst College Peter J. Gomez, Preacher and Writer and Chaplain, Harvard University Samuel Sweat Green, Key Figure in the Public Library Movement and the Founding Father of Reference Librarianship Stephen A. Hainer, President of Columbia Theological Seminary, Ordained Minister of the Presbyterian Church USA, Professor, Former President of InterVarsity Christian Fellowship Chris Hedges, Author and Journalist Yakovos, Archbishop of America, Greek Orthodox Archbishop of America from 1959 to 1996 James Franklin K., Professor of Homiletics and Liturgy at Princeton Theological Seminary Ray Keck, President of Texas A&M International University in Laredo, Texas, was Rockefeller Brothers Fellow at Harvard Divinity Muhammad Kenyatta, Professor, Civil Rights Leader and Politician Michael Muhammad Knight, author Charles Marsh, theologian, writer and biographer of Dietrich Bonhoeffer Scotty McLennan, Dean for Religious Life at Stanford University C. E. Morgan, author Tori Murden, the first woman to row solo across the Atlantic Ocean, and to ski to the geographic South Pole William B. Oden, bishop in the United Methodist Church Theodore Parker, prominent Unitarian and Transcendentalist Unitarian minister, scholar, abolitionist and author of The Line, Dot the Moral, Dot Arc of History, Bends Toward Justice, Rodney L. Peterson, scholar of history, ethics, and religious conflict, and Executive Director of the Boston Theological Institute Richard L. Pratt, Jr., Professor of Old Testament, President of Third Millennium Ministries Letty M. Russell, Feminist Theologian Edmund Sears, Unitarian Theologian Jeffrey L. Seglin, Journalist, Writer, and Emerson College Professor Saba Sumake, Professor and Essayist Vanessa Southern, Unitarian Minister and Progressive Liberal Advocate Richard Taffel, Founder Log Cabin Republicans, Lobbyist, Executive Coach George Allen Turner, Professor, English Bible, Asbury Theological Seminary Ross H. Trower, Chief of Chaplains of the U.S. Navy Jones Berry, poet and essayist Sarah Warne, editor-in-chief, founder of After Ellen. Com Leland Wilkinson, statistician and computer scientist Vanessa Zoltan, atheist chaplain Topic. Publications Topic. Harvard Divinity Bulletin 
Harvard Divinity Bulletin is an award-winning glossy magazine published by Harvard Divinity School two times per calendar year. The magazine features non-fiction essays, opinion pieces, poetry, and reviews about religion and its relationship with contemporary life, art, and culture. The magazine often publishes the text of each year's Ingersoll Lecture on Human Immortality. It is mailed to a subscriber base of more than 20,000. Subscriptions are on a donation basis. Past contributors have included Reza Aslan, Martin Batchelor, Sarah Sentles, and Christian Women. Topic: <laughs> Harvard Divinity Today. HD Today was an alumni magazine published three times per year, also by the HDS Office of Communications. It included original news articles, event listings, an alumni journal, and class notes. It ceased publication in spring 2012. Topic. Harvard Theological Review Founded in 1908, Harvard Theological Review is a quarterly journal that publishes original research in many scholarly and religious fields, including ethics, archaeology, Christianity, Jewish studies, and comparative religious studies. Topic. The Graduate Journal of Harvard Divinity School The Graduate Journal of Harvard Divinity School is the print, online, student-run academic journal of Harvard Divinity School and the only graduate journal of religion at Harvard University. It publishes exemplary student scholarship in the areas of religious studies, ministry studies, and theology every year. The WIC The WIC is a journal for literary and creative works by the HDS community. The WIC publishes both published and unpublished writers of fiction, poetry, essays, photography, sermons, and creative nonfiction. Topic: The Nave. The Nave was a newsletter of HDS student activities and events published from 1975 to 2007 by the HDS Office of Student Life. The newsletter transitioned from paper to online in 2002. The NAVE included announcements of lectures, social events, important academic deadlines, and other matters. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Student Religious Affiliation. Figures taken from 2007-2008 Harvard Divinity School catalog. Equals <inaudible> equals <inaudible> Divinity School buildings. <inaudible>